I'd like to believe in God. But I'm afraid I can't. I find that the whole conception of a divine being is really an easy way out for most people. An avoidance of personal responsibility, a passing of all decisions to somebody else. There's so many things within the idea of religion which are contradictory. And the basic morality of religion seems to leave much to be desired. Although I could bring myself to believe it intellectually, I, I, I somehow can't feel it emotionally. I can't see that it helps anyone. I think it's all superstition. I feel that I cannot look to any sublime being for guidance in my own life. I cannot believe that there is someone up there who has any kind of personal contact with me as a human being. As a good and honest atheist, you know, I think the whole thing's nonsense. I can't imagine any reasonable way of thinking it possible, provable, or even reasonable. I think the whole thing's nonsense. That's superstition. Unacceptable. It's a bit ridiculous. Who's interested? Why is it wrong to question? Uh, it's like talking on a phone when it's, in, you know, there's no one at the other end of it to me. Who listens to them? It, it doesn't do anything for me. Who's interested? It doesn't solve anything, and it doesn't even make me feel any better. If there is a creator, someone who started the universe off, I'm sure he's not interested in people like us. pray to someone because for me there isn't anyone there. God is a superstition. A social ritual for weak people who can't think for themselves. The idea of there being some sort of great grandpappy up there looking down and looking after me um, seems to say the least of it a bit ridiculous. Can't believe in such a person. The contradictions are too great. The whole thing is it's irrelevant to anything I could imagine. I can't accept the idea of a supreme being who takes any interest in anyone on Earth. I feel that we're living in this world and it's the world that's going to help us. I don't think I feel any of the religious attitudes supposed at all. I don't really feel any life force flowing through everything, animating it and me making the universe meaningful. And I don't believe that you can pray and your prayers will be answered and your sins forgiven and so on. I don't believe God created a world at all. I think it's just a burnt out planet like all the rest. I don't believe in the Christian concept of a God. To me, this is quite unacceptable. A social ritual. Avoidance of personal responsibility. I think the whole thing's nonsense. And yet, in a way, I envy the person who can pass this responsibility to an almighty being. Because then they're not ultimately responsible for their own mistakes, their own human elements of greed or desire or envy, or any of the other things we all contend with in our daily life. It's in the world and in the... In the uh, in worldly terms that one has to sort out one's life. <laughs>
It's impossible to pray to life or expect it to answer you. It doesn't s solve anything and, and it doesn't even make me feel any better. Life is something which you are living all the time. It's something which you are living all the time. I would very much like to have a faith, to have the comfort of a religion, but I'm afraid I can't. The contradictions within religion are too great for me to accept. There's so many things within the idea of religion which are contradictory. I wish you could believe in God. I can see no good reason why I should. You're missing the thing that makes life most worth living. I believe you must believe. I see no good reason why I should. Because God is within you and is created, actually, by uh, yourself, to a certain extent. Because it's a much more comforting state to be in. Because even people who deny him when they're in trouble or when they're facing death even, call on him. Because the... he is someone that you can tell all your troubles to. Believing in God is the natural thing to do. He certainly will help you if you pray earnestly. God is the ultimate truth in life. God is life eternal. God is goodness. God is life. God is love. God is love. God is all good. Everything good is God. And you get double happiness from uh, be belonging to him. And the person that can really say that I believe in God and, and have that faith is a very happy person. Blessedness is the highest thing a man can attain to. And the sooner you realize what you're missing, the better for you. I can't believe in such a person. It, it doesn't do anything for me. I can't see that it helps anyone. I think it's all superstition. It doesn't s solve anything, and it doesn't even make me feel any better. The whole thing is, it's, it's irrelevant to anything I could imagine. I'd like to believe in God. I think that you really must believe in something, but you're not uh, aware of it. And I think that uh, if you were com completely uh, unbelieving, you'd be very sterile. You'd be missing an extra dimension. You're separating yourself from life. Your life would be flat. You're not feeling part of it. It would be lacking in depth. Your contact with life would be dimensionless. You have no purpose in life. I think you're missing an awful lot. You wouldn't be missing anything because you wouldn't be aware of the possibility. Do you want to, to be in the kingdom of God? Or do you want to be left out amongst all the, as the Bible speaks of, Dogs and sorcerers and warmongers and liars. Uh, you're losing a, a tremendous lot. A tremendous lot of help in this life to help you to live and to live for others. You'd lose such a lot of graces that you could have. How can you expect to make a success of your life if you deny or have nothing to do with God. I can't understand anybody not believing in God. One has to believe in God. If you don't believe in God, you really don't know what you are missing.
I'm afraid I can't. Sometime or other, it must come back to you. It must come back to you. Believing in God is the natural thing to do because God is within you. He's inside everyone for um, everyone to find. He's in yourself. It's something inside you. Something which makes flowers grow and coordinates the heavens and keeps everything together and keeps everything going. It must come back to you in a certain time, at some time in your life, it must come back to you that there is a God. There must be a God. There is a God. To me, this is quite unacceptable. All the rituals and ceremonies that we go through, all this seems to me to be just for the comfort of man himself. I can understand that you can get some kind of comfort um, from it, and even that maybe your prayers will be answered. But for me, this is meaningless. It seems that we're looking upon this figure purely because we have lack of responsibility in our own aims and deeds and acts. And this seems to me impossible. It is one's own responsibility as to how one acts. The thought of the right things to do and the wrong things to do, without fear of being condemned to hell or even being rewarded by going to heaven. To me, the actions and work of every day, the beauty of life itself, nature, trees, animals, is in a sense God, because that is the spirit of life. And yet that incorporates in itself the bad things, the sickness, the worms, the fungi, the mold on the trees. It's all part of life, and we accept life as it is, and live it as it is without any ultimate being being forced upon us. If you don't believe in God, then you don't know the comfort of prayer. A person without religion must be aimless and drifting. They miss such a lot, I think. They must miss everything in life. Well, you might just will be dead. They are just miserable sinners and they cannot be happy. Your matches will be dead. <laughs>